How to tie a helicopter rig. Helicopter rig is ideal for long casting without tangles. It is streamlined and stable through the air, making it the best for feeder fishing at distance. Begin tying the rig by threading the first of two line stops onto the main line. Follow it with a small or medium sized quick change hook link swivel and the second line stop. Slide the whole assembly up the line out of the way. Tie a figure of eight loop knot in the end of the main line. Make sure to leave a long tag end to the knot. Wet all knots with water or saliva before tightening them down. This loop is for a snap link swivel. Either include the snap link within the loop or use the loop to hitch a swivel on later. Create a 2 or 3 inch twizzled boom from the long tag end of the loop and the main line. Tie off with a double overhand knot. The twizzle boom serves two purposes. It provides a length of stiffer line above the feeder to reduce the risk of tangles. Secondly, if a big fish is hooked, the bottom line stop will get pulled down towards the feeder during the fight. The knot in the top of the twizzle boom will prevent the stop and the hook link from getting too close to the feeder. Next, clip on the feeder and lastly, attach the hook link to the quick change swivel. Slide the line stops down to between 6 and 8 inches above the feeder. Leave a gap between the two line stops to allow the hook link swivel to freely rotate on the line. This allows the hook link to helicopter on casting rather than wrapping around the main line. The casting weight, the feeder, is placed right at the end of the line of a helicopter rig. The leading position of the feeder not only reduces tangles, but also makes the rig more streamlined and stable in the air. A range of feeder designs have been developed with their weights in the front rather than on the side, to take full advantage of being on the end of the line. Thanks very much for watching and best of luck with your fishing.